Hello all, welcome to Grape City Documents webinar. We are pleased to announce V6.1 release and today I will be sharing key highlights of this release. If you have any queries uh, regarding the new features, please email me on this address. Before I move on with the agenda of the webinar, let me give you an overview of what Grape City Documents is about. So with trillions of data flowing over the web, you need tools to extract data or work with data or uh, tools that can help you convert data into meaningful documents of certain format or tools that can help you load those documents, uh, modify, save them back. So uh, you want to store these documents for long term usage or share within the organization or uh, share uh, over the web. So Grape City Documents is a set of document APIs that helps to create those documents, edit them and save them back. Uh, and uh, also uh, help you to convert documents of one format to another. All this you can do within uh, .NET application or Java application. And uh, files like Excel, PDF, images and docx files, these are the file formats that are supported. These APIs do not depend on Acrobat or MS Office Suite. Also included are document viewers for PDF, images, Excel, CSV and spreadsheet files. Um, document APIs and viewers included in Gripsy documents are Gripsy documents for PDF or a GC PDF. Uh, this is our PDF API to help to work with PDF documents and included within this package is Gripsy documents PDF viewer or GC PDF viewer. It's a JavaScript based uh, viewer that helps to view PDF file in your web applications. Included in this uh, package is also Gripsy documents for Excel.NET and Java. So GCXL.NET and Java, these are our Excel APIs, helps to work with Excel documents, modify, save them back, convert them to other formats. Included with GCXL.NET and GCXL Java packages is Gripsy Documents Data Viewer or GC Data Viewer. It's our JavaScript based uh, data viewer that helps to view data related files. Um, Gripsy Documents for Word or GC Word is also included in Gripsy Documents. Uh, it is a Word API uh, that helps to create Word documents, load existing documents, modify, save them back and convert them to other formats. GC Imaging or Gripsy Documents for Imaging is our Imaging API, helps to load images, create images and add a lot of image processing uh, effects over the images. And uh, included with GC Imaging is Gripsy Documents Image Viewer, JavaScript based image viewer and editor to view and edit images. If you want to have a look on more details about these document APIs and viewers, please visit this link. So starting with new feature added in GC PDF and GC Imaging, we have added the new table render class to render table layout on PDF and images. Uh, this class is built on top of a new layout engine that's called layout rect. So uh, basically layout rect helps to draw elements uh, without knowing position of parent element or the other elements. So uh, this is a new layout engine that helps to draw complex layouts uh, in PDF and images. Layout host and layout view, these are two uh, classes that help provide initial space for the table renderer. As you see over here, uh, layout host is basically uh, the main object in the layout rect engine that um, helps to uh, define the views uh, initially. Uh, and uh, layout view helps to define view over which the table is actually drawn. So layout view, as you see here, has the uh, width and height similar to the PDF page. So it will actually give you the dimension where you want to render an object. Uh, all the table rows, columns, grid rows or grid columns and the cells uh, which are drawn in a table will have associated objects in the layout rect engine. Uh, we have also added the add cell method that uh, helps add cells to the table and you can also provide data for the cells as well as add missing cells method that helps to ensure that there are no gaps in the grid. So over here you see a basic table layout has been drawn on a PDF page and this is the code that helps you do this. So you define a PDF document and you define the dimensions of the PDF page 
and then you call the layout host object which will help you to define the initial view um, you create a view with the same uh, dimensions as the PDF page and then you call the layout rect um, class where uh, you set uh, where you call the anchor top left right uh, method uh, where you say that okay uh, the table needs to be fixed at the top right while it needs to be uh, uh, at equal uh, at equal position uh, margins from uh, the layout view and at the bottom there will be no margins because uh, the table will grow at the bottom uh, then you define the table render class. Uh, the first parameter will be the page.graphics object on which you need to draw the table. The second would be your layout rect object. The third would be the fixed table sides or top left right parameter because our table is fixed from top right uh, left and right. Then is the uh, row count and column count. You define them for the number of rows and columns to be in the table. Uh, grid line color, you can set it to some color. Uh, the color which with which you need to draw the table and the width can be uh, defined. And uh, then you can also define the row min height property, which you can set it to some value to set the basic uh, row height of each row. Uh, and uh, then you define the columns and you set the width of each column with respect to each other. Uh, finally, you call the perform layout method of the host and you render that table and save the document. This is how it looks like. So with this support, you can uh, draw complex layouts of a table or a simple ones. You can merge table cells or rotate or set the flow direction of the text in the cells. You can uh, also draw custom content in the cells like these. And different, these are various graphics drawn within the cells. And uh, there are various other demos uh, demonstrating the table render API. Please visit this link to see more demos. So in this release, we have also added new PDF organizer in uh, GCPDF viewer that will help you uh, merge uh, PDF pages from external document or you can also modify the page range within a, a PDF document. Uh, you can do all this visually through the PDF organizer. Uh, these are the various operations you can do with respect to pages. Uh, you can merge pages from one PDF to another. You can reorder the pages. You can split a PDF document into two or smaller PDFs. Uh, you can add or modify page ranges from active document. Uh, you can insert page range from an external PDF. Add or clone as many page ranges as needed. Remove individual pages range. Uh, rotate individual pages range. Uh, move mouse over the information icon to get information about the pages range. Use the input field to specify the start and end page number for a specific pages range. You can use uh, one single page from a pages range. Uh, swap specific pages range position using the drag and drop operation. And you can also download modified document to the local file system or apply changes to the active document. So this is our online sample browser where we have added various uh, samples to demonstrate the use of PDF organizer feature. And uh, if you want to open this PDF organizer, you can uh, just go to page tools in the toolbar. Uh, there will be an option. You click on it. Uh, this is the PDF organizer option. You click on it. The PDF organizer dialog would open. Uh, here it will display the page range from the active current document uh, and if you want to uh, add pages uh, there's a drop down available here you can add single pages from the page range all pages odd or even pages pages based on page size and you can also add an empty page if you want you can also specify a page range uh, which you want from the active document uh, for example if you or if you add odd pages it will add pages one and three from the active document if you want to merge an external pdf uh, you can just click on this option choose your pdf file it will add a page range of the external document if you only want say a second page you can just type in the input field of this page uh, page of this pdf document and uh, only that page will be added over here you can rotate the entire page range or you can clone uh, the existing page range um, if you do not want any page from this uh, layout or there is or in the resulting document you can just cross out using the cross option 
and if you go to this information icon it will display the information of the page ranges included in this pdf uh, organizer dialog and uh, you can download this uh, resulting merged pdf document uh, to your file system directly or you can if uh, you can press done to apply all these changes back to pdf viewer and you see over here uh, the whole pdf document has been merged uh, and uh, all the pages are visible as you have added in the PDF Organizer dialog. And this is how you can use this dialog uh, to work with PDF pages through a UI easily. So coming up to GC Word, we have added the ability to specify multiple expressions within aggregate functions. You can now specify constant, aggregate or two collections within the functions. Um, uh, in last release, we had introduced the calc expression, which helps you to add calculations to your report. Uh, it will basically uh, add calculations with uh, repeating uh, data. So uh, now you can also specify constants and then you can, you know, solve use cases like, you know, adding a constant uh, to a bound value and then uh, performing a sum over it or you can specify aggregate within aggregate functions so you use sum over here and then you perform aggregate over it or you use uh, two collections within the functions so these are the values coming from two different collections and you perform average over it so uh, you see over here you can solve complex uh, use cases like in this invoice you need to perform sum of all the rows and uh, calculate the total invoice sum so here you specify you use the calc expression with the uh, sum aggregate over uh, uh, multiplication of quantity and price uh, and you want the result uh, to be in uh, currency format and that's dollar so you see over here this total is calculated adding up all the individual prices of the products and it displays the final invoice sum uh, in the report also added is the ability to add link styles in word files programmatically uh, gc word introduces uh, add link style method it will help you add a link style and then use it on a paragraph or a run basically a part of the paragraph uh, there's additional boolean property hide linked character styles which can be used to hide uh, the linked character styles for a specific you know part of the paragraph um, so here you see we have added a linked style as heading one one of the built-in style has been used for this link style we add a paragraph with this link style so the whole of it is displayed in the link style uh, then we also take a paragraph uh, and we add some part of it as a normal style well we uh, where, uh, whereas we add a run in this paragraph and uh, the part of that and uh, the whole run is defined with a linked style that we have defined over here so you see here the whole of paragraph as i as i mentioned the first one has been displayed with a link style now the next paragraph the part of the paragraph uh, which says uh, paragraph it has it, it displays in a normal style while the rest of the run displays in a linked style if you just select this run over here and you see the style it, it you can see link style applied over it with heading one uh, if you select paragraph the first part of this, this line uh, you see it it applies a normal style which we have applied over here and if you see the top uh, paragraph the whole of it applies a link style which is heading one defined over here so this is how you can add link styles in word documents this works exactly the same as ms word um, you can have a look on the demos of uh, gc word which we have added on this link in this release we have also enhanced our crop and resize tools available in image viewer uh, to crop and resize images you can now easily use these tools from the toolbars uh, and uh, you can set the custom aspect uh, from a number of options in uh, the drop down available in the crop toolbar uh, you can manually crop or resize images and you can also set other options and just see instant effect on it um, if you want to have a look on these tools please view this uh, this link for the demos so this is the image viewer um, you have various page tools available we can open them from the page tools option over here you see the crop option and the resize option these are the two options in the page tool if you want to crop an image just click on this option 
and the various crop tool options would be available in the toolbar you can uh, just choose any aspect ratio from this drop down and the image would be cropped as per it uh, you can also specify the width and height of the resulting image and the image would be cropped as per the values you have provided. If you want to resize any image, you can manually do it and uh, it will be resized. You want to set other options with respect to uh, resizing, you can uh, set it from uh, these options. Uh, and uh, you can also have a look on our online sample browser you can have a look on the crop and resize tools over there so with this we come to the end of the webinar do have a look on our complete uh, release uh, in this blog link thank you